Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Home of the Cardinals since 2006. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the New York Mets taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. Count one four. St. Louis Cardinals. Just about set to go. And towing the slab here, Miles Michaelis. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the That's hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Nimmo at second with two down. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. His 22nd homer of the year, and the Mets jump in front. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. Jordan Walker, batting, batting. the next to hit. The left fielder. Walker. On the ground, left side, six. Four, three, double play, and the inning is over. No runs, one. Here's Pete Alonso. He's already homered in this game. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Oh, no, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Inside, almost Two got him. Three. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. The 1-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. One out, base is empty. And now the count is even. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts, finally squared one up. So let's take a closer look inside the numbers. That blast from StatCast, 113 miles an hour off the bat, singing, And it just... Flew out of here, Boog. Even if you only heard the ball hit the bat, you knew that was a home run. I mean, he put a perfect swing on it. Runner at first with two away. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Ripped on the ground a second. Slings to first, and that takes care of Alonso. And that's the he won. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it.
and he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they tack one on the board. It's 6-4. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. He's putting on quite the show with the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing. And he's just not missing right now. A three-homer game. Man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Man at first with one gone. Here's Nolan Arenado with the tying run at the plate. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Ground ball left side. And that one finds its way through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso, And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homer three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. Little chopper rolls foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Now two out. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Newt Barr moves under it. He's got it. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. So two on with two away. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Off the mark there, and the count even one and one. Snap throw to first, and he's out, and they got him. That ends the inning. Two homers in the inning lead to three runs. And your final, 10-7. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Mets taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. I'm John Shabby. Chris, one guy having a big... He's been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Pete Alonso, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. On the ground, right side. Over to Goldie. And that takes care of Alonzo. One out, base is empty. So up next for New York, Pete Alonzo. That one not close. And that is ball one. Chris, when you take in a stadium, I think one of the things that I always contemplate is where are you? And in St. Louis, Bush Stadium, you know exactly where you are with the arch in the background. They mow it into the lawn, the gateway arch. Basically it goes from line to line and out towards center field and then the retired numbers, the championship banners. I mean, it really shows off the history of this proud franchise. 
Yeah, Boog, and this city is always just covered in red, especially during the baseball season. But they've added that ballpark village out there in left center field. Very accessible to come into this city, stay downtown, get to the ballpark, and take in a game in a great setting. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. Now two and two. a no doubter as we dive into the numbers with stack cast. crushed or just absolutely crushed 112 miles per hour on the exit velo and like you said no doubt about that one plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well the here's bat. Pete Alonso the first he's base. already homered here in this one Alonso on the ground to the oh, left that's and that's just foul Alonzo, 29 years old, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Two down, nobody on. That one missed ball. by a lot. Ball great. one. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. To the bottom of the six we go. So two away with nobody on. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Pitch misses, 1-0. Oh. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Edmund going after it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. Nothing across. Back here in St. Louis, Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Swings and he breaks his bat. Goldie throws the first in time. Lindor retired. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Arenado to first, in time. And the bunt attempt doesn't work out. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Go ahead, run on base. Tyrone Tin up now for the Mets. Line, and that's a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 4-3. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. So the New York Mets have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. 
Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this. Here's Nolan Gorman. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the third and final game of the series. On the ground could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. There's a swing and a drive. Edmund raging back towards the wall. Goodbye, home run. He'll touch them all. That's his fifth homer in the series. It's one nothing. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, Boom. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Two outs with a man at third. Now the left fielder, Jordan no Walker. Jordan Walker. On the ground right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. That's out number three. Back here at Bush Stadium. New inning getting started. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. That one hammered center field. Edmund going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Lynn just. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One Not ball. even close two there. Strike. And a count one and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Walker gets under it. Makes the grab. Rudder tags from third. The throw is Great. offline, and he's in to score. It's 6-2. Well, he's always capable. Ready to begin the eighth, and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonzo. And a pitch. That Ball one a little bit high, and it's 1-0. And another ball. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right hander kicks deals. And now it's three and two. Here comes a pitch. Out to short, Donovan. Zips it across, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. A 7 5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB.